Castle Lager Premier Soccer League debutants RNL Football Club made it three draws in a row following a nil all stalemate against students Herendels in a match where the sweet and biscuit makers did enough to win the game only for their blunt finishing in front of goal. Yet it was the visitors, Herentals, who would produce the match's first attractive moment, a smooth flowing move that utilized the full width of the pitch, finally landing on Tinashe Mupuma, whose ambitious strike was far from troubling RNL keeper Aaron Mubwenya. The home side had its early moment too, also a well-worked move, a series of good touches involving Brian Kijimani, Jabulo Ngwenya and Greg Fandada creating a fair opportunity for Johan Svanda to crack at goal, his shot not giving Herentals keeper, never mind Antonio, any problems. RNL were almost caught exposed off a counter after William Kapuma's brilliant pass picked up Tino Benza, but he appeared double-minded and by the time he was decided, RNL were congested in defense at the chance fizzling off to nothing. On 14 minutes, the match was brought to a 20-minute stoppage as police details were unavailable following a misunderstanding on payments. With council police perhaps settling for possibilities, formal police returned for the resumption of the match, Herendals creating the next fair opportunity as Tino Benza combined with Peter Chota to tee Eric Dombo who could not find the target. Herendals looked the bigger beneficiaries of the stoppage as on return they enjoyed better position, also creating a meaningful chances another again sent begging after John Juao's header diverted at Tinashe Mupuma's inviting ball to the terraces. RNL responded with another well-executed move, hard-running Kufandada's deft back heel, creating good space for Timothy January to deliver an inch-perfect cross to Johan Spanda, who showed a great composure in the box only for his attempt with his weaker left foot to fly wide of the target. Quite a contested opening half for both sides with intent, just clinical finishing at the missing piece to cap a 45 minutes that would have been fulfilled with a goal. In the second half, the industrious Kufandada almost beat her rentals keeper, never mind Antonio, with a tricky flick, but alertness and good reflexes saw Antonio deny Gray Arenel's first goal of the Premier League. At the other end, Eric Dombo kept trying to shoot from the distance, but the target persistently eluded. More shooting drills and training may do his appetite for goal a lot of good. As the chances continued to come, though not as dangerous to cause either side much concern, perhaps Arthur Lovu's header, good an idea as it may have been, was too far out to carry any venom for expected results. RNL have done well in defense, conceding nothing in all their opening three games. It has been the same up front, they haven't scored anything and that should begin to worry. A lot will just have to be invested in scoring as goals win games. Their defense has made sure they don't lose games. In the last quarter of the match, Herentals were fired up, edged on by their vibrant supporters. RNL appeared stretched to the limit, almost at the mercy of the visitors. Substitute Junior Daka let the host of the hooker, failing to turn home a perfect cross from the right and the home crowd breathed a sigh of relief. Herentals risked being caught on the counter though, and their keeper Antonio would again come to the rescue, denying Arthur Lovu with a crucial double save. In search of that last gasp winner, RNL also poured forward and did create fair opportunities, but likewise, their finishing was a big letdown with substitute Chilembio Monkuli getting his angles totally wrong from the edge of the box. At the opposite end, from almost a similar position, Tino Benza knows he should have done better than his ever rising shot that flew to the stands. Right at the death, Benza could have won it after leeching onto a long ball from the back, taking on Moses Jackson for pace. Shrugging off the RNL veteran defender's challenge to strike at goal, Benza's shot was denied by keeper Aaron Gwenya and the chance had gone. No kind words from Aaron to Moses, who, with his serve, made sure RNL at least do not concede in 360 minutes of Premier League action. For the newcomers, another clean sheet at the back must have been Kenan. The two coaches' post-match analysis perhaps sums up the goal this afternoon as everything at the back was locked, hence no goals for the match. Our game plan worked because we didn't want to concede, but we needed to, to score. And unfortunately, we failed to, con uh, to, to convert uh, the, the chances that we got, but we're happy because the game plan worked you know, for us not to concede. When it's not uh, broken, you don't fix it. So what we were trying to say is uh, if, the, if we can't score, like we tried our best the whole afternoon, we couldn't score, they mustn't score. Football is a game of goals and RNL should appreciate that just like sugar is to sweets and some biscuits, goals are the objective. Their priority so far has been to prevent them and successful as it may have been, it's high time they manufactured goals to defeat opponents. All their three games have known no goals, though at the same time they should be fine with that they know no loss. As for the students, there's plenty of homework to attend to and finishing should be a priority of that. Tino Benza, talented and full of energy and harassment, has corrections on 
decision making and if he does, his potential should graduate him into one of the domestic league's masters of the game. He has what it takes, just practice to make perfect. For the Premier Soccer League at Vebe Stadium in Bulawayo, I'm Tandazani Zipran.